You are what you eat. I'm pretty sure that you've heard this phrase before. So, does it mean if I eat chicken, then I am a chicken? <laughs> no, silly. It obviously doesn't work that way. So, what exactly does this phrase mean? Considering thousands of pages of high value in academic and philosophical discourse written on a topic, the meaning of the phrase is pretty simple. If you eat crappy food, you are going to feel crappy. If you eat healthy food, then you will feel and look healthy. So now we come to this question. How do we do to obtain healthy food? Cooking and preparing our own food is one from many ways to obtain healthy food. Well, of course, you could just offer a healthy meal kit since it is more simple. But cooking our own food, on the other hand, has many more benefits. Like it gives us full control over the ingredient we use, save us more money in the long run, and the fun part is, it can unleash our creativity. According to Phil Agent survey about Gen Z that involves 775 correspondents, 78% of Gen Z prefer to cook meals for themselves or others, and 75% from that 78% prefer cooking a meal completely from the scratch. We also conducted our own survey about Gen Z interest in cooking and preparing their own meals. From 51 correspondents, the result is they are interested in cooking and preparing their own meals. But there are several problems when it comes to cooking our own food, especially for Gen Z and people who are new in cooking. Like, yang nah, pertama, pertama harus nyari bahan atau segala macamnya itu yang bikin malas. Harus searching dulu mau masak apa segala macam ya itu sih pas. Gak tahu gitu cara ngebuat sama bahan-bahan apa sih yang butuh buat ngebuat si masakan ini gitu. Kayak bumbu-bumbu sih. Kan soalnya keba- apa? seringnya tuh pakai yang instan-instan gitu. Jadi kurang familiar sama si bahannya ya. Jadi challenging to learn and start to cook when we have lack of knowledge like already mentioned before. Uh, Ibu ini uh, jahe berapa? 5000 itu bukan jahe, bukan. Bang kuas ini ya. Oh, Rookie mistake. Hi, my name is Duanda. We envision Easy Meal to be the one-stop shop for all of your needs to not only assist, but also inspire you to cook. We provided an account feature for you to share your data across multiple devices. After logging in, you can use all the features in the app. The main feature of this app is recommending you recipes based on what you already have. You can enter the ingredients in the pantry or cookcast page, and then click the Lihat Rekomendasi Resep. The app will then show you the best matching recipes based on ingredients that you listed. You can then search and filter the results as well as add the recipes to your favorites. You can then tap on the recipe and see the full details, including the ingredients and steps, even the ingredients that are missing from your pantry. Here you can very easily adjust your pantry ingredients and even add the missing ingredients directly into your shopping list. You can see and edit your favorite recipes here and shopping list here. Okay, now we have the ingredients ready to be listed, but what if we don't know or recognize the ingredients that we have? No need to worry. In addition, Easy Meal provides a feature that detects ingredients for you. You can capture the ingredient using the camera or import the image from gallery. Get the result and then add it to your pantry. It's pretty easy, right? Next, my friend Zizi will explain about the machine learning part. Hi, I'm Asya Zizia. As a machine learning engineer, I will tell you about machine learning part on EasyMail app, which is the feature that helps users to find out ingredients they don't know using image recognition. Ingredients that could be recognized are still limited up to three classes, jahe, kunyit, and lengkuas, and soon we will add more ingredients in future development. For this feature, we are using image classification with transfer learning methods, which is MobileNet as best model, and we add more layers to get more accuracy. After training and tuning hyperparameter, we get more than 90% accuracy and can predict the class from the input image in less than 2 seconds. Hello, I am Galang from the Cloud Computing Learning Pad. 
to build the backend for my Azimil application, I'm using the ExpressJS framework for the RESTful API. And for deployment, I've chosen App Engine. App Engine provides scalability and is of use by generating a URL that will be sent to the Android app. It interacts with the database stroke load SQL for data retrieval, while any uploaded files are stored in cloud storage. With ExpressJS, I can easily define endpoint and handle HTTP requests, while App Engine's automatic scaling and deployment simplicity make it an ideal choice. Cloud SQL ensures secure data storage, and Cloud X provides scalable object storage. Together, this technology creates a robust and efficient backend infrastructure for EasyMail, facilitating seamless communication with the frontend. Okay, now moving on to our business plan. First, let's talk about budgeting, recurring expenses, and income plan. Here is budget one. Budget one contains the allocation of project funder save five thousand dollar if we improve via seventy five billion. While budgeting two is the same as budgeting one, but the fund a difference receive the large amount of one hundred and five million. At this on this slide, there are six variable allocation equal to five thousand dollar. Move to this two slide budgeting to have more fun. So there is ten variable, six of them from budgeting one, and four other is an additional project from allocation variable. Moving on to recurring expenses. This slide show the allocation of fund what the five hour team will use at least this year. You can see the total spending on daily equipment fund reach three hundred forty million and eight hundred thousand. Next, there are table about income plan in this application. There are three resources of passive income. First, from advertising. Two from partnership or investor, and also from membership or user. This slide only description when it managed to get three investor and also take one of the advertising packages as well as plus three another user just activate a monthly membership. Then by overall you earn at least one hundred ten million eight hundred and twenty five thousand. Next. Information about current and future feature. What about our future now? There are four feature. One, give field recommendation. Two, image recognition feature. Three, shopping list and price. And four, all future unlock. Next, there is the five feature. Future that will be developed later, like more new website, web community, super video tutorial. Nutritional information and then market location. Move to this slide following the target market. After distribution, the questionnaire. In general, the target marketing of this application is anybody can using this app, and also from 18 and over the 41 years old. After distribution, the questionnaire. I get the result is 80 percent on 18 into 27 years old. Another result is 30 percent on 28 into over 41 years old. Hi, I'm Nadif, and I will explain our project plan. First of all, let's take a closer look at EasyMail and how it stands out from the competition. Some apps that are similar to EasyMail are Empty My Fridge, CookPad, SuperCook, and Buku Resep Semua Makanan. And here is a table that compares EasyMail to its competitors. EasyMail surpasses other apps by offering more than just recipe recommendations. In addition to providing recipe suggestions based on the ingredients you have, EasyMail also allows you to identify unfamiliar ingredients. Simply snap a photo or upload an image and our app will recognize the ingredient. Next, I will tell you about our project milestones. From July to November, our primary focus will be on the developing new features, conducting testing, ensuring maintenance, and creating technical documentation. Then, in December, we'll launch the application and carry out publication and advertising campaign.